To wave the banner of observance, high and proud in the confines of a synagogue, is not an overly remarkable achievement. But to enter the highest tiers of the national sports arena, where sports caps replace skull caps, swaying congregants are switched for swinging bats, and the chants don't come from songs. To publicly and proudly observe the Torah, there is an incredible powerful feat, especially when entry has been virtually impossible for anyone fully observant. That's why Ellie Kligman has become an overnight sensation. Ellie, whose father Mark Kligman is an active sports agent, is a powerful switch hitter who has pitched no hitters in immaculate innings. He rose like a star through little leagues, pony leagues, travel programs, high schools, and all-star scouting events. But Ellie's home was simultaneously filled with an even greater loyalty, the love of God, daily Torah study, and an unwavering embrace of the mitzvot. I think that that's every parent's dream, right? To hopefully lead by example to your children in, in, in the way that you think is the right way to live, and that they uh, see the value in that and they espouse it for themselves. Rabbi Chaim Ozer Metal, director of youth programs at Chabad of Summerlin, Las Vegas, stepped up to the plate early on to help Ellie's religiosity blossom. And the rabbi rallied vigorously for him at games as well. Rabbi Metal became such a fixture that Ellie's teammates fixed him with official gear and attributed their success to his presence. The result? Ellie won't balk with the Torah's laws. No matter where or when, he declines to play on Shabbat and Jewish festivals, find solutions to pray three times a day, study Torah daily, and locate kosher food. I didn't really think twice about it. I knew I was keeping Shabbos and I was going to be Orthodox and I also knew I was going to play baseball. So um, the mix of the two was never really a thought. It was just kind of the way I was brought up and the way that I want to carry myself. Almost everyone warned Ellie that total observance was an automatic strikeout for his dream of joining the big leagues. I think that if I can show people that um, I don't have to bend in my faith and I can still be a Major League Baseball player, Division One Baseball player, or however far I take it, um, I just want to show people that you can do it. On behalf of Major League Baseball, we welcome you to the 2021 draft. He persisted and was recently drafted by the Washington Nationals to play Major League Baseball with the agreement that he will not play on Shabbat and Jewish festivals. Yeah. Hey guys, Ellie just got drafted. Please join us in welcoming Ellie Kligman as the Rohr Jewish Learning Institute presents Ellie with the Young Jewish Luminary Award for pitching his love for God first. We'd like to call Moshe and Leah Kligman to come up to the podium as well to receive this honor with their son. I'm from a generation where when there was an individual that didn't play on Yom Kippur, it made such a Kiddush Hashem, such a sanctification of God's name. I have to tell you, Eli, when I saw you in the press and I saw the way you acted, I heard your father, I cried. I was moved to tears. I know Rabbi Metal very well. I know the last week you've seen, and I have to tell you, you were an inspiration from the minute that you came on the national, on the international scene. And God should give you the strength that you should be able to uphold it. You have beautiful role models, and it is really, really heartwarming to, and it's an honor to meet you. I want to read the, the plaque. When Moses raised his hand, Israel prevailed. Presented to Eli Kligman for playing his hand while pitching by hand to ensure that the law of, Mo of Moses prevailed. Thank you for inspiring Jewish pride worldwide through proudly adhering to Shabbos and Jewish observances while advancing your baseball career to the top. National Jewish Retreat 2021, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Welcome the most valuable player in baseball for the next 20 years.
Uh, first off, I would just like to say thank you to Hashem for giving me all the blessings and strength to, for this whole journey. Um, I'd next like to thank my parents and the rest of my family for really being the biggest influences and um, really shaping me to be who I am today. So thank you guys. Um, I'd like to thank JLI and Chabad for this amazing retreat and you know, flying me and my parents out here to give me this amazing award. It's really been a, a really fun experience. Um, I'd also like to thank Chabad just in general because they've been such a big part of our life. Um, they're the reason my parents are religious today. Um, you know, I went to Chabad school from preschool to through eighth grade. Um, and Chabad of Summerlin, where we go to Shul in Las Vegas, it's really been an amazing experience to have the whole community behind me. And going to all the Chabads throughout the country, from Atlanta to Bethesda, Maryland, North Carolina, Phoenix, really all over the country. So having that experience, just having them giving me kosher food, finding us a place to stay for Shabbos, it's really been an amazing experience for all of us. Um, and I guess if I'm going to leave you guys with one message, just that um, one thing that's helped me through my journey of getting drafted, going to play college baseball, it's been really staying strong in your faith. And I've learned that when you stay strong in your faith, people will respect you more for it, and people will want to help you more. Um, my junior year of high school, we had a game scheduled on Yom Tov on Pesach, and um, the faculty, administration, coaches, players, everybody really worked many hours to get the game changed off of a, off of a day where I couldn't play. Um, it was a team that we would have beat without me and my brother, but everybody still worked really hard. Um, we didn't get to play the game because of COVID, but it was just, it, it was an example of people really working hard, not even Jewish people, just people that were really, really working hard to be a part of the journey. So um, I hope everybody here can have the strength to stay strong in their faith and um, only positive things come from it. So thank you guys.